This is another bit of ultrasound with Z. This time, how do you place an ultrasound guided subclavian central line? It is easiest to have the ultrasound machine placed on the other side of the patient from which you are placing the line. This will help a bit with orientation and keep plenty of space free for your equipment. Using standard sterile prep and technique, including an ultrasound probe cover, which I am not demonstrating here, locate the axillary artery and vein in the very lateral chest near the shoulder. As with other vessels, you should be able to identify the vein, which will be more compressible and will not have arterial pulsation and flow. Begin tracking the vein medially as it begins heading superior and finally goes beneath the clavicle, which will be very superficial and have the typical shadowing of bone. Stop your probe at this junction and very slowly rotate the probe using two hands to bring this vessel into long axis orientation. This is difficult, so keep your eyes on the machine and move slowly. Here you will see the vein in long axis traveling under the clavicle. Now is the really challenging part. Very slowly advance your needle at a 45 or so degree angle until it enters the vein. The needle will need to be kept exactly, perfectly, completely, 100%edly in axis with your ultrasound probe. Keep negative pressure on the syringe plunger so that when you enter the vein, it is obvious. If at any point you lose sight of your needle tip, you can slightly reorient your probe or needle. If this doesn't locate it, withdraw the needle towards the skin surface and start again. Now, continue placing the central line using standard Seldinger technique. This has been another bit of ultrasound with Z. Thank you.